Hello, hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Welcome, welcome. Good evening. Yes, teacher. Hello. I hear you. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? Is everything okay? Hello, teacher. Hello. Tell me, how are you? Are you okay? Are you fine? Are you happy? Yes, yes. Excellent. Very, very fun. Excellent. Okay, um, listen up. Welcome everybody to this new session. We're going to begin with the session. I'm going to start with, you know, I'm going to pass attendance because that is the first thing that we have to do. My second, I'm, I'm going to start. And remember, please, once you listen to your name, stay present, please. Okay, I have 20 participants right now. Good. Okay, let's begin. Remember, once you listen to your name, say present. Alberto. No, sir. Present teacher. Here. Present teacher. Here. Ana Francisca. Present teacher. Ana Vicky Garcia. Ana Vicky Garcia. Here. Okay, let's go with Astrid Diaz. Present. Astrid Puñoz. Present. Here. Bessie Avalos. Present. Bessie Flores. Bessie Flores. Okay. okay. Cesar Martinez. Cesar Martinez. Here. Cesar Ariola. Here. Claudia Ramos. Present. Here. Dalida Galicia. Present teacher. Here. Delmi Peña. Present teacher. Here. Ernesto Garcia. Present teacher. Stephanie Sea. Here. Okay. Gerson Rodriguez. Gerson Rodriguez. From here. Okay. Elina Linares. Elina Linares. Present teacher. Okay. Eliana Alvarado. Present teacher. Ivan Patiz. Present. Okay. Jennifer Mangandi. Present. Here. Joanna Navarro. Okay. I can see you. I can see you, but I, I don't know if you're speaking, Joanna. I cannot listen to you. Está, es el micrófono, pero no le, no le puedo escuchar. Present teacher. Oh, yes. Thank you. Jorge Espinosa. Jorge Espinosa. I'm oh, here. Okay. Let's continue. Jose Barrientos. Present teacher. Here, Jose Rodriguez. Present. Present teacher. Nice. Jose Portillo. Present teacher. Here. Karen Carvalho. I'm here. Let's go with Karen Menjiva. Karen Menjiva. Karen Flores. I am here, teacher. Good. Carla Granados. Present teacher. Yes. Carla Rivera. Present teacher. I'm here. And Carla Stephanie Rosa. No? Carla Rosa? Okay. Bueno. Mencioné. Alguien que no mencioné, por favor. 
acabo de pasar lista, no sé si se me escapó alguien. Creo que no, estamos bien. Ok, listen up. Uh, well, please, I want you to remember I'm going to take a screenshot. Please, everybody, let's get ready. Voy a tomar una captura de pantalla, please. On the camera, three, one, two, three. Okay, thank you. Well, let's begin. Tell me. Have you had problems with the platform? Hemos tenido problemas con la plataforma. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Pues bien? Bien. It's fine. Bien. ¿No hemos tenido problemas, Mario? No. Ok. Solo, bueno, recordatorio. Recuerden, gracias. Recuerden uh, avanzar, por favor, con la, la plataforma. Si vamos al día, que bien. Si hemos avanzado, muy bien. Y si hay problemas, Pito, háganmelo saber. Eh, ven, pueden decir en el grupo o me pueden contactar a mí eh, para verificar que todo es en orden. Recuerden, la próxima semana, ahora iniciamos la semana 2, es la sesión número 5. La próxima semana, el martes, vamos a estar a, a revisando así un poco el, el meter, porque esta semana lo hacemos. Y en la segunda semana que se hace, el martes revisamos algunos detalles del meter. Si hay dudas, pues me pueden preguntar. Bueno, por después, porque vamos a trabajar de forma individual. Y el miércoles lo haríamos. Ok. Well, let's begin. Let me display the presentation for you. Ok, this is session number five. Can you see the presentation? Vamos a ver la presentación. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Today is Thursday, April 8th, 2021. What do we have for today? We have common medications and imperatives. That will be well, topic or topics that we have for this session. Common medications and imperative. In the previous class, we were talking about um, parts of the body and we were having some health problems or illnesses. Now we're going to talk about common medications. Okay, medicine, medicina, right? Let's move on and let's begin with you know, some vocabulary talking about common medications. Oh, here we have some medicine or some medication that we tend to see, we tend to have when we are sick. Okay, for example, I have a headache, I have a stomachache, uh, I have dry eyes, etc. So this is something that we know we tend to, to take some medicine, you know. Here we have some vocabulary, you can see. We have aspirin, this is the first one, aspirin, aspirin, cold tablets, tablets, cold tablets, vitamins, vitamins, cough syrup, Cough, zero, cough, zero. Have non aspirin pain reliever, non aspirin pain reliever, cough drops, cough drops. When you have cough, <laughs> you take cough drops. Next, throw, lozenges, throw. throw. Lozenges, throat, lozenges. lozenges. That's when you have a sore throat, right? Sore throat. I have a sore throat. So I'm going to say throw, lozenges. 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 Antacid, the, the next is antacid tablets. Antacid tablets. Antacid yes, tablets. Next, nasal spray. 
nasal spray. If you have a congestion of your nose, we use spray, right? Nasal spray. Eye drops. Eye drops. So you use eye drops when you have your, you know, dry eyes. Dry eyes. Okay. Or you have sore eyes. Sore eyes. Sore eyes means que nuestros ojos están irritados. Sore eyes. Sore eyes. We have sore eyes and we have dry eyes. Sore eyes, you know, in Spanish, like ojos irritados. Dry eyes, often conocimos que tenemos los ojos, bueno, secos. Okay? So we use eye drops. Eye drops. Next, we have ointment. 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 So that is something that we use when we have a, a bore. For example, you're cooking and you're bored. Estamos cocinando y nos quemamos. We use ointment. 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 Next, we have cream. Cream. Cream, the first one with A. Cream. This one. It, it is used in the United States. No, American. It's an American word. And the other one, cream, is the same, the pronunciation is the same, cream, but the way we write the word is different. So that is British. That's Britannic. That's Britannic. Okay. And the last one is lotion. Lotion. But lotion is similar to cream. For example, when you say uh, body, body lotion, I think if you have, oh, well, if you use green in your body, if you have the, you know, the container, you can read in the container that it says body lotion. Because that is the way. Body lotion, or we use hand lotion. It's the same, similar to green, lotion. One more time, let's go back. Aspirin, old tablets, vitamins, Cough syrup, cough syrup, non aspirin pain reliever, cough drops, throw, throw lozenges, throw lozenges, throw lozenges, antacid tablets, antacid tablets, nasal spray. Nasal spray, eye drops, eye drops, ointment, ointment, green, green, lotion, lotion. Okay, and then we have you know some specific terms talking about medicine. We have peel. Peel. Peel, that's a general term. That's a general term that we use. I will take a peel. I have a headache, I will take a peel. Tengo un dolor de cabeza, me tomaré una, una pastilla. Okay, I have a headache, I will take a peel. So that is in general, that is in general, okay? Next, tablet, tablet. It's a peel, it's a peel. Well, that is another way to say tablet, capsule, capsule, capsule. Next, well, we know that the capsule is cylindrical, cylindrical, and inside we can find some medicine, right? And the other one is the caplet, 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 caplet. Okay, and then, well, when we take some you know, syrup, use some measurements. When we tomamos jarabe, utilizamos algunas medidas, right? So we say teaspoon, we say teaspoon, teaspoon, teaspoon. Esa es una cucharadita, es como le decimos a la salvadoreña, una cucharadita. 
And the other one is tablespoon. 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 Right? So that is cucharada. Right? So this is some vocabulary talking about medication. Medication. I want to know if you have any questions about, you know, this vocabulary. Teacher. Yeah. Uh -huh. How do you say gotero? Gotero? Sí. Yes. 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 Oh, okay. Mm. I'm not sure about the, the, the word. Um, well, let me look for it. Let me look for it because I'm not sure. Let me see. Okay, you say dropper, dropper. I was thinking on drop, but yeah, dropper, dropper, dropper. Thanks. You're welcome. Somebody else questions about the vocabulary? Okay, we're going to listen. I'm going to repeat the vocabulary. Please listen to me and repeat at the same time. Let's go. Aspirin. Aspirin. Cold tablets. Cold tablets. Cold tablets. Vitamins. 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 Next. Cough. Zero, half, zero, half, zero. Non-aspirin pain reliever. Non-aspirin pain reliever. Half drops. Half drops. Throw lozenges. Throw lozenges. Throw lozenges. Antacid tablets. Antacid tablets. Nasal spray. Nasal spray. Eye drops. Eye drops. Ointment. Ointment. Cream. Cream. Lotion. Lotion. Teacher. Yeah, tell me. Thanks. Uh, non aspirin pain reliever, what is exactly? Those are some other, uh, some, those are some pills that does, don't contain aspirin. Okay. Don't contain aspirin. Right. But it is not related to aspirin. Right. So, for example, I'm not sure, to be honest, I'm not sure about medicine, but some cases, Pacillas que no contienen aspirina. Yes. Teacher, okay. but pain relievers is, is, se refiere a que alivia el dolor, aunque no exactly. sea aspirina. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is a minute. Good. Somebody else questions? Okay, let me give you some examples. Listen, we're going to take into account all the medicine, okay? Let's go. Whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin, okay? I take aspirin or, well, whenever I have a headache, you can probably, you can tell me I take Panadol, right? Or I take uh, Ibuprofeno, right? Whenever I have a headache, that is a health tolerance, remember? That is an illness we saw in the previous class. Okay? Cuando tenemos un dolor de cabeza, nos tomamos una aspirina o nos tomamos cualquier otra pastilla. Ibuprofeno o una staminofem, etc. Okay? Tell me, what about you? 
Whenever you have a headache, what do you take? Who wants to help me? Mm. Yeah. I use a cold compress in my head. Oh, okay. Good. There's another, yeah, good. I like it. Thank you. Let's see. Cesar Martinez, what, what do you say? What do you say when you have a headache? Whenever I have a headache, I take. Uh, I think you have the microphone off, all right? Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, uh, whenever I have a headache, I drink tea. You drink, sorry, you drink. Can you repeat again? Also? Say, I drink. Okay. Can you repeat again, please? Okay. When I have a headache, I, I drink tea. Okay, you drink tea, okay? Yeah, that is a, a good option, right? Whenever, as I said, when I have a headache, I take, I'm sorry, a drink, tea. Okay, yeah, that could be another option. Excellent, I will listen to Jose Barrientos. What about you, Jose Barrientos? Okay. Okay, uh, whenever I have a headache, I take uh, acetaminophen. Yeah, yeah, you take acetaminophen. A, a pill of acetaminophen. Yeah, a pill of acetaminophen. Okay, you can say, well, I take, I take a pill of acetaminophen. Yeah, you can say it, you can say, or you can say just, I take acetaminophen. Yes. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Let's go with another situation. Whenever I have a cold, I take, what do you think? Whenever I have a cold, I take. I take nasal spray. Do it again? Nasal spray. Oh, okay, good. In that case, it's different. In that case, yeah, the, the the idea that you gave me, it's okay, good. Just one observation. I use nasal spray. I use nasal spray, because if you say take, remember that we, we, we take the pill and you put it in your mouth and you drink water. I take, in this case it's different, use. You use the nasal spray, okay? Both tables. Yeah, cold tables. But again, whenever I have a cold, I take cold table. Tablet, sorry, tablet. Cold tablets. Cold tablets. Yes, I whenever I have a cold, I take cold tables. Tablets. Tablets. But again, tablets. Okay, good. Uh, somebody else, what about you, Eliana? What do you take if you have a cold? I take uh, anti flawless. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Good. That's a good one, right? Good. Thank you. Yeah. What about Ivan? What do you take when you have a cold? Ivan, can you hear me? Sorry. Okay. What What do you say, Ivan, when you have a cold? Yeah. Uh, whenever I have a cold, I take cold tablets. Okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you. 
or whenever they have a goal, I take uh palari, right? Palari. Only one option too. Good. Let's go with another situation. Whenever I have a cough, <clears throat> whenever I have a cough, I take. What do you think? Joanna? What do you think when you have a cold? Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay. Uh, whenever I have a cough, I take a bit of grip. Oh, okay. You take or in also, Or in also amoxy. How do you say amoxicillina? Oh, you can say in that way. You know, amoxicillina. Yeah. I take amoxicillina. There are exactly. antibiotics. There are antibiotics. antibiotics. Yeah. yeah, antibiotics. Exactly. Those are antibiotics. Yes. Amoxicillina. Okay. Good. Thank you. What about Alberto? What do you say when you have a cough? Whenever I have a cold, I take a cough syrup. Yeah. You take cough syrup. But again, syrup. I take cough cough. Zero. You take cough, zero. Good, thank you. Let's go with the other one, the last one. Whenever I have dry eyes, I use, what do you think? Gallium? Whenever I have dry eyes, I use. Whenever I have a syrup. Eye drops. Yeah, exactly. I use eye drops. I use eye drops. <laughs> what else? What else? Let me see. I oh, use so water with salt. With salt. Salt, right? Salt. Okay. Yeah. Whenever I have dry eyes, I use butter with salt. Yeah, we tend to combine right uh, salt and water. That would be another thing. Excellent. Well, any questions? Uh, yeah, sorry. solution. Solution, yeah, solution. Solution, is this solution, right? See, selling, selling solution. Yeah, good, yeah. well, that's another one. We tend to say solution, solution. Yeah, good. Yeah. Well, any questions, guys? So far, so good? I want to say that. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Here. Okay. Now that we learned medications, medications, and how we can express how we take, what we take, sorry, when we are sick, when we have a headache, when we have a stomachache, when we have a cold, when we have a cough, etc. Then to move on to the following part, and I'm going to talk about something that is called imperatives. Imperatives. What do we use imperatives? Let's begin with that. Imperatives are used. Here yeah, we'll listen to someone. Carla Granados, can you help me with the definition? Can you read the definition? Imperatives are used. Can I go to the definition? Okay. Imperatives are used to keep commands, instructions, and orders. We don't use subjects. Thank you. Well, we have uh, imperatives. Those are orders, those are commands, uh, instructions, etc. Okay. For example, 
and you say, uh, sit down, stand up, open the door, um, example, pay attention in class, take notes in your notebooks, etc. Those are imperatives. Yeah. And we don't use subjects. No utilizamos en ese caso sujeto. Hacemos en español. All right. Let, let's start. Let me give you more examples. Let's begin with the affirmative form. Let's go with the structure. Like I said before, in la escala set, we don't use subjects. We don't say, I open the door or you sit down. We don't say in that way. We're using imperatives, instructions, commands, orders, etc. The structure that we follow is the verb and the complement. Only the verb and the complement. The verb, of course, is in the base form. And we have a lot of verbs like open, write, read, sit down, stand up, uh, listen, speak, etc. Those are verbs. And then we have a complement. For example, yeah, questions? We can use uh, uh, it, read it, do it. In that case, yes, you can do it. I will give you some examples in that way. Good, that's a good observation that you made. All right, listen. Take a pill every four hours. Take a pill every four hours. That is a, an instruction. That is an instruction that a doctor can give you. Okay, you go to the doctor, you go to the hospital, the clinic, um, you have an appointment with your doctor, and then your doctor gives you a prescription. Okay. prescription. So the doctor tells you, okay, take a pill every four hours, or take acetaminophen, I don't know, every 12 hours, for example. Okay. Sure. As, yeah. I have a question. Uh, the verb all time is in, uh, will be in, in the in the base form, right? Yeah, it is. We use the verb in the base form all the time. Okay. Good. We don't say, we don't say, for example, you take pill every four hours. No, because we don't use subjects. We don't start with a subject. We start with a verb. Take pill every four hours. Arnata, I'm sorry. Yeah, Arnata, I, I think you have a question. Sorry. Okay. Arnata? You have a excuse question. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, yes. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, uh, in, in imperative, uh, maybe can you use shall do or have to do? Mm. Well, when we talk about should, we cannot include it. We cannot include should. Should. Because should is an auxiliary. Should is an auxiliar. Y eso se utiliza con oraciones. No se podría usar. Yes, teacher, but, eh, ¿cómo decir? Deberías de tomarte las pastillas. Oh. Pero... Tienes que tomarte las pastillas. Entonces yeah. son órdenes o, inst o instrucciones. Okay. Pero eso sería más un consejo ¿va? o una advertencia. Exactly. Exactly. This is a piece of advice. Uh, should, we, we use should for advice. For advice. That is different. Eso es diferente. You should take a pill every four hours. Yeah, your doctor can tell you this. Tu doctor o el doctor puede decirle esto. You should take a pill every four hours. Or another person, otra persona. Y es un consejo, como digo Ernesto, right? Right. Okay. Advice, advice, advice. Uh, Warning. Yeah, it could be, warning. 
Word. Yes. Eso es diferente porque ya utilizamos un auxiliar. Should. Eso lo, lo vamos a ver más adelante cuando damos consejos, etc. Okay. Pero sí, es válido. Es válido. Bien. Right now we're using new pets. Carla Rivera, ¿quién habla de eso? Eh, sí, y quizás se lo voy a preguntar en español. En este caso, eh, podríamos decir, ¿te appeal? ¿Te appeal? ¿O tengo que hacer todo ese complemento de decirlo, hmm. ¿te okay. appeal every four or, o solo puedo decir, ¿te appeal? Yeah, you can. You can. You can say, for example, your doctor tells you, uh, take uh, aspirin. Just like this, take aspirin. Yeah, you can. Okay. Very good. Well, this is an instruction, like I said before. Your doctor can tell you, uh, my friend, take a pill every four hours. Listen, it is different. It's different when you say, for example, okay, I will say, let me see, Jose, okay, Jose. It's different when you say, Jose, take a pill every four hours. Yeah, you can tell me, but teacher, we have a name in there, we have a subject. No, that is not a subject, because we have a comma. Esto no es un sujeto, es solamente una, un nombre. And you say, Jose, take a pill every four hours. That is different, and we can do this. Podemos hacer esto con el sintetivo. Pero, Jose, comma, and we make a pause, Jose? I can fill every four hours. Or we can say, we can say, take a pill every four hours. Okay. Both are correct. Almost all correct. But we have, you say just for say, take, that is a sentence. Si no tenemos la coma, eso es una oración, una oración imperativa. Si la coma está, es un imperativo. Es un imperativo. ¿Por qué partido? Eh, teacher, I have a question. Eh, is correct to say eh, you have to, to take a pill. Oh, okay. Is correct. Yes, it is, but it not in this case. Sí es correcto, pero no en, no en este caso, porque cuando utilizamos imperativos no tenemos sujetos. En ese caso sí tenemos un sujeto. Subject. En las okay. sentences. Aquí sí tenemos un sujeto y es una oración. La oración sí está correcta. Para que rondase es una, es una oración. Pero, right now we're using imperative. We don't use subject. En los imperativos no utilizamos sujetos. Teacher, is that correct? Is that correct? Is that correct? Is if I say put your seat belt, please. Yeah. Put your that is seat belt, please. That is correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's a a a, a, a instruction. Exactly. Or it could be an a, an order. Yeah, if you're driving, if you're driving, someone can tell you, put your seat belt. Seat belt. Put your okay. seat belt. Seat belt. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. We have okay. another example. Yeah. I'm sorry? Okay, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, another example. Drink a lot of water. So, again, your doctor can tell you, well, drink a lot of water or somebody else, your mother, your father, your friend, drink a lot of water. That is an instruction. Another one, sit down, please. That is a command. So at school, you know, children like to play a lot. They go over there, over here, et cetera. And then the teacher says, well, sit down, Florito. Okay, sit down. Sit down, please. And as you can see, we tend to use please with imperative. Utilizamos la palabra please 
from the negatives. You can say sit down, please. Or you can say please sit down. Uh, please can be at the beginning and please can be at the end. Please puede ir al principio o al final. Okay, both are correct. Uh, in the first option, we use coma. In the summer to my coma. And the other one we use, we don't use coma. Please sit down. All right, and that is a command. That is a command. Teacher. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of imperative use it in when 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 we when we're driving. Exactly. Exactly. Because we have signs. Signs. That is another use of imperative, by the way. On signs. On signs, camera signs. Do you know signs. what is a sign? Do you know what is a sign? For example, Excuse when you drive it, you can see sometimes like stop. Stop. Let me show you. Don't work. <laughs> yeah. These are signs. Signs. These are signs. Stop. Um, well, we, then we have, uh, let me see another one. Well, we have, no, here we have some different ways because we don't have verbs. Stop, yes, it's a verb. Let me see another one over here. Okay. It is too small. Oh, we have here one. Look, recycle, that is another one. Um, then, stop again. Well, but yeah, we tend to see, you know, on signs. That is another use of imperative on signs. Stop. Um, let's see another one. Give way. That is another one. Give way. Give way. Give this way. is a big, como en español, ceder el paso. Give way. Give way. In front of the old hospital, silence. Mm. Uh, in front of the hospitals, silence is, is, the sign, is a oh. sign with okay. silence. Yeah. Could be like make silence. Make silence. Make silence. Yeah. Yeah. That is another one. Well, in another example with imperatives is clean your room. Clean your room. That is an order. So in your house, if your mother or your father tells you, clean your room. That is an order. That's an order. Oh, or your wife. <laughs> or your wife, yeah. <laughs> or your husband, right? Your husband. Yeah, excellent. That is way. That is way. Clean your room. That is an order. As you can see, we use verbs. Verbs. Okay. On the other hand, we have negative form. Let me show you. Negative form, and we follow a different structure because at the beginning we have don't. Don't plus the verb plus a complement. Okay. Negative is different because we include don't at the beginning. Only don't, only don't. We can say, don't work. That could be an instruction or, yeah, an instruction. You go to the doctor, let's continue with the doctor. The doctor can tell you, don't work too hard. Okay. So that is an instruction, or it could be a piece of advice. Puede ser un consejo también. Otro uso que le damos a los imperativos. Advice. Okay. Next. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, don't worry is another one. Don't worry. Yes. That's an imperative. Don't worry. It's another one. Good. The other one, don't, don't smoke. Don't smoke. Yeah, that's a good one. Don't smoke. And that is a that is a sign. That is a sign. That is a sign. Let me show you. Oh, you, you have seen that right in, in places. We almost better say, um, let's see. Don't smoke. We tend to see the sign, right? 
and it means no mistake. Another example, don't stay up late. Don't stay up late. That's an instruction. That can, that can be an order. It can be an order. Okay. Next, this is in, in a classroom. This is an order. Your teacher can tell you, don't eat in the classroom. It's an impactful. That is a negative. Okay. okay. This is the way we construct imperative in affirmative and negative form and we use them one more time learn to give commands instructions and orders okay any questions cuando cuando uno un restaurante le le prohíben que entren a los animales como dicen don pedro oh yeah don um, pets allowed, no. Yeah, but in that case, it's different because, yeah, they say no pets allowed. I see, I see, allowed. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, but that's not an imperative. Then no. it's an imperative because no tenemos un verbo en eso. Um, but it could be like, I don't know, don't bring your pets for. Your pets. Don't bring your pets. That is an imperative. No pets allow? Yeah, that is the way they use it. Oh, yeah, you know, it's like a command or an imperative. Atrás del sillón ha de estar la cuca. Eso es lo que lo que, lo que utiliza. Okay, uh, I think some, somebody has a question. Oh, yeah, I'm going to Tell me, sure. Uh, teacher, in this case, we can use uh, would you place before the imperative. Again, sorry. Um, in this case, we can use uh, would you please before the imperative. Mm, okay, that's a good question. Well, you can use only this form, uh, Carla. You can say just please, please. For example, please uh, do your homework. Or please complete that one. Because if you say, would you, would you, would you please, sorry, say, could you please, it's different. Could you please, uh, for example, open the door? That is different because we have a, a model, we have a verb model, we have a subject. Subject. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You can say just please do your homework or please complete the class. That is polite. It's not as amable. It's not as, well, le decimos, es, es más cortés. Please do your homework. Okay, somebody else? Questions? Preguntas? Dudas? Estamos bien? Muy bien. Uh, mm, but we can uh, use the, the the please in the negative sentence, right? For example, please don't work too hard. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we can. Please don't work too hard. Or don't work too hard, please. Yes, we can do it. Okay, listen up. We're going to practice. We're going to practice with some exercises. I have five exercises for you. These are imperatives. What I want to do in your notebooks, please. Let's rewrite the sentences. Well, this is imperative part. Let's rewrite the imperatives to complete them. And the verbs are in parentheses. Verbs are in parentheses. Okay, it says to go, not to swim, to do, 
But you know, you have to write only the verb, the verb in base form. Go after it, for example. Go after it. You don't have to include two, okay? You almost include two. A little better, go. Okay? If you have negative, if you have not, for example, number two, out of three, it's because the imperative is in negative. Don't swim. Yeah. So go ahead in your notebooks. I will give you some time. Let's complete the exercises. I will give you some time. Let's go. So complete those exercises. A lot of people are missing today. But that means it's our work. And they, but then we have to get the assistance. 100%. Send us our. Uh, by the way, um, I would say it's in Spanish. Todos tenemos um, el link o caso el código para la vez pasada. Escuché que estaban, bueno, revisando el grupo que estaban preguntando acerca de, del link de la, de la sesión. Recuerden que el link es el mismo. Solo se hace a veces cuando lo tenemos. Tenemos acceso. No hay ningún problema para ingresar. Está bien. ¿Vos tenemos el link? Sí, es que, es que teacher, ¿Ya? es que en, las, en, los, en los niveles anteriores uno entraba a la, a la clase y, y uno esperaba que el, que el profesor como que diera la entrada al... Y hoy entramos todos de un solo. Mm, ok, perfecto. Entonces se siente diferente. Bueno, uh, solo explicarles un poquito y ahí les, les pido un poco de, de una disculpa. Ya en el caso de, de la institución, pues está enterada de eso, ya saben. Pero lo explico para que no, no piense que, que el teacher entra, entra tarde. Yo, bueno, suelo entrar unos minutos después de las nueve, de las nueve, porque antes de, 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 grupo, de este grupo, tengo otro grupo, tengo otra clase. Entonces, termino a las nueve. Debo terminar todas las nueve. Eso me pasa un par de minutos, pero estamos solo a minutos. Por eso ingreso tarde. Pero es por eso. Me van a disculpar, pero por eso ingreso tarde. Ya, no me, ya todos están dentro e incluso una, una bueno alguien encargado de inglés corporativo ingresa ella está antes ella antes que antes que yo ah, tengo una, una pregunta se va a hacer en español eh, como ya es primera vez que estoy en este curso eh, cuando dice meet el del martes y el miércoles vamos a hacer no sé qué no le entiendo a qué se refiere oh, meet okay, perfecto, porque yo soy nuevo, o sea, es primera vez que estoy en, en, en un curso, entonces no sé qué, a qué se refiere con el meet, algo así lo entendí como meet sí, que sí. le iba a revisar y miércoles vamos a hacer eso, quisiera que me explicara porque no sé, qué es, cómo es perfecto, gracias que, que me, me clarificó también bueno eh, hago la pregunta, ¿quiénes son nuevos? además de José Barrientos ¿Cómo 
más así. Está por acá por primera vez. No sé. Ok, explico. Igual, si alguien está por primera vez acá en el grupo. Uh, bueno, durante el módulo, durante el curso, tenemos, recuerden, 16 sesiones. Durante el curso, vamos haciendo, tra bueno, trabajando en la plataforma, haciendo los ejercicios que hacen ahí. Uh, es muy importante que vayamos desarrollando todo en orden. Y si, como les dije en las clases pasadas, si nos adelantamos, está bien, no se preocupen. Pero sí debemos ir completando todo porque yo voy, bueno, se les hace un porcentaje de todo lo que vamos desarrollando por semana, digamos así, la función. En este caso son cinco secciones en la plataforma. Ah, con respecto, vayamos avanzando, se hace un porcentaje. Ese porcentaje yo lo he trasladado a otro cuadro. Ahí van sus notas. Entonces, eso se va trasladando. Durante todo el módulo, es decir, en la segunda semana, ahorita porque se ha distorsionado todo, no porque planeamos de lunes a jueves, que va a la segunda semana, primera semana, lunes a jueves, segunda semana. En la segunda semana hacemos un examen. Un examen y ese se denomina meter. Meter S. Meter. Un examen que se hace, digámoslo así, a mitad de módulo, en la segunda semana. Entonces, eso es con respecto a las unidades que hemos visto, que hemos venido viendo, etc. Entonces, eso se, se evalúa y se hace en ese examen, en la segunda semana. Es con respecto a la unidad 1, unidad 2, si me equivoco, y unidad 3. Es que o eso sea, se hace, ¿sí? todo, todo lo que se ha visto, digamos, un examen, un, re, un examen de lo que se ha visto. Exacto, lo que hemos visto hasta el es... momento. Sería martes como un repaso y el miércoles el examen. Algo así, ¿entendí? Sí, el martes, bueno, no, sería básicamente lo que vamos a hacer el martes es que vamos a verlo. Entonces, vean cómo se hace. Bueno, la mayoría ya sabemos, pero en el caso suyo, no sé, lo voy a hacer en la sesión, voy a mostrarles de dónde está. Y vamos a ver si son solamente las instrucciones que debemos hacer para que ustedes vayan haciendo cada cosa. A, acorde como se debe de hacer, paso a paso. ¿Qué? Okay. Va a ser el martes, el, el miércoles lo vamos a hacer, vamos a hacer ustedes. Y el jueves vamos a, a revisarlo. Vamos a revisar el mitre, vamos a ver las respuestas, etc. Vamos a ver. Y la última semana, la semana 4, hacemos el final exam. Eso es otro examen. Un examen final. Y ese examen final sí ya incluye todo lo que se ha visto. Se hace la última semana. Eso básicamente es lo que estaba explicando al inicio. Y la mayoría, pues ya estamos al tanto de eso, pero no sabía que tenemos, bueno, en el caso suyo, José, que estaba por primera vez. Si tenemos dudas, alguien levantó la mano, Carla Rivera. Sí, igual lo voy a hacer en español. Eh, como José Carlos tomó la iniciativa de esa pregunta del examen y del repaso, eh, yo también no soy nueva, pero sí el, el mes pasado ingresé y en el curso que estaba, pues no habíamos hecho ese examen que usted menciona. Entonces, para mí también sería nuevo, porque pues, eh, digo examen porque creería yo que se va a hacer dentro de la clase y no se refiere entonces mm. al mismo examen que aparece en línea, ¿verdad? ¿O es otro? No, 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 no nos confundamos. Bueno, no voy a ir ahorita, no se preocupe. Nos confundamos. Es el mismo que está en línea. Es el mismo, es el mismo que está en línea, sí. Ah, lo único que nosotros entonces en la clase anterior lo hicimos de forma individual y cada quien lo hacía, no lo sí, hacíamos no, dentro de la clase. No, no, lo vamos Quiz, a hacer. De... Quizás ahí la confusión. No, lo vamos a hacer de forma individual, de hecho. Lo que vamos a hacer en la sesión es que solo les voy a mostrar, les voy a explicar la, las instrucciones, lo que deben de hacer. Solo eso. No es que lo vamos a hacer en la sesión. Ya lo van a hacer de forma sí. individual. Sí, sí. Yo creo que más bien, o sea, creo que lo que hacíamos en los modelos anteriores era que nos daban como un día antes o así de que se llegara el plazo para hacerlo, 
como tips o miren esto les puede Exacto. servir para resolver el ejercicio Exacto. o algo así. Exacto. Ajá. Eso más que todo, ya las instrucciones, lo que se va a hacer, eso es lo que vamos a, a que voy a mostrar el, el miércoles, o los martes. Pero van a trabajar de forma individual, cada quien por su parte. Ok, acá estamos en la plataforma y cuando le damos a la pestaña curso, ya saben, les aparecen todas las secciones. En la sección 3 está el meter, que se llama meter exam. Vamos a dar clic ahí y lo vamos a hacer el examen acá. Eso lo van a hacer ustedes cada quien. Pues va a ser el miércoles. Es que si ya lo hicimos, porque creo que algunos se si avanzaron, probablemente ya lo hayan hecho. Pero vamos a ir parte por parte. Listening, ask the questions with answers, select all these questions with the conversations. With the conversations. And the last one, with the article. Vamos a lo por acá, vamos a leerlo y contestar las preguntas. Y vamos a ir. Listening, escuchar el audio, contestar. Ask the questions with answers. Vamos a, a, en este caso, a responder las preguntas. ¿Qué pasa si uno lo hace antes, teacher? ¿No hay problema de volverlo a hacer? Sí, no Se borra no. y vuelve a hacer. No, de hecho, um, ustedes ahí tienen la, su puntaje y de hecho, eso se nos dice a nosotros. Si ustedes, por ejemplo, obtienen un puntaje, digamos así, bajo, no sé que no, pero en caso tienen un puntaje bajo y no les parece a ustedes, tienen la oportunidad de volver a hacerlo. No hay ningún problema. Teacher, ¿Eh? este, yo creo que así había entendido. Uno puede hacer la plataforma de corrido, no hay problema. O sea, uno lo hace en el tiempo que uno quiera este, y, y puede repetirlo las veces que quiera hasta obtener el mejor puntaje, que es el que queda Ajá. grabado. La cosa, la situación es que cuando usted hace el, el examen de midterm, tiene, tiene un plazo para enviar esas notas. Entonces, por eso se hace el corte y nos dice, ah, terminen porque tengo que enviar notas. Exacto. Exacto. Bueno, eso, eso lo, 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 se los mencioné en las clases pasadas. Qué bueno que lo mencionó su compañero. Recuerden, la, la, la plataforma podemos irla completando. Si ustedes deciden avanzar, claro, lo pueden hacer. Obviamente, todo lo, lo vamos a ir reforzando. En la, ¿eh? Y si tienen problemas con la plataforma, me lo pueden hacer saber y lo vamos a discutir en caso. ¿eh? Y con okay. respecto al midterm, final exam, si sí, tenemos las, como su compañero lo dice, debemos hacerlo eh, en la fecha que. Que se, se nos dice, ¿eh? porque si sí, las notas se van trasladando al cuadro y todo debe ser completo, debemos eh, tener ese 80% más, obviamente. ¿Okay? Ah, no se preocupen, podemos ir adelantando y podemos repetir los ejercicios cuantas veces queramos. ¿Okay? La idea es practicar y que ustedes mejoren. Vamos mejorando mucho más. Entonces, eh, no se preocupen por eso. ¿Y alguien más se le pregunta? ¿Estamos bien con, con lo que acabamos de, de mencionar? Sí, teacher. Yes, teacher. Gracias. Thank you. Thank. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Listen up. Let's go with the exercises. We're going to finish with the class. Let's go with number one. What is the answer, guys? What is the, the imperative? What do you think? Go upstairs. Exactly. Go upstairs. Number one. Number two. All of you. Don't swim in the lake. To swim. Don't. Exactly. Swim. Don't swim. This lake. Do your homework. Do your homework. Yes. Do your homework. Do your homework. Good. Do your homework. Number four. Don't play football in the yard. Don't play. Don't play. 
Don't play, don't play football in the yard. In the yard, yes. Number five. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Exactly. So well, these are the imperatives. Imperatives, affirmative and negative form. Good. Any questions, guys? Teacher. Yeah. We can use two verbs. Two verbs. Uh, keep yeah. On, keep on driving. Um, Come and take. Let's 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 go swim. No, let's let's. Mm -hmm. Let's take your. Pero podemos usar dos verbos, no? We can. We can. For example, let me see. Mm. When you say start working on mm -hmm. your. In your homework, sorry. In your homework. So start, have... working your, start working your platform. <laughs> yeah, start working your platform. Yes. <laughs> That's another mm -hmm. example. Yeah, we have two verbs, start and work in. Start and work in. Yes, we can. Good. Questions? Anybody else? We got some things there. Melissa? Everything clear? Yes, all of you? Yes, yes. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, good. Everybody, we're going to start right here because it's time. Thank you, everybody, for, for being here, for your time, for your patience. Like I said before, well, I was explaining lo anterior that I was connected tarde por eso. Ahí, muchas gracias por su paciencia. Y pues, bueno, quería explicarles eso para que no dijeran, bueno, ya se conecta tarde, es pesarlas por eso, es porque termino las nueve, a veces nueve uno, nueve dos, me conecto rapidito, ok, tanto tiempo de alcance, pero la idea es estar acá y, y ayudarles, ayudarles. No, no es teacher, teacher, ¿Debe? No es problema lo que comentaba de, de ingresar un poco tarde, al final en, otro, en, otro, en otros módulos. Lo que pasa es que el anfitrión no nos deja conectarnos y a veces uno cree que sí. Zoom es el que tiene problemas. Entonces yo siento que hasta es mejor que uno se pueda conectar y ya estar solo esperando. Nosotros entendemos que usted tiene otra clase, no se preocupe. Claro, gracias, gracias. No, y, y, y al final, pues cubrimos todo. Si empezamos a las 9 y 5, tenemos a las 10 y 5. ¿sí? Y siempre se van a cubrir los 60 minutos. Ahí les pido paciencia y muchas gracias por el tiempo. ¿Eh? Well, we're going to uh, finish right here. Thank you, everybody, for, for being here. Sure. For your time. Yeah, tell me. Uh, could you put my attendance, please? I, I, oh, um, yeah, sure. Thank you for letting me know. Rapidito, voy a pasar. Creo que algunos se me escaparon. Menciono a los que no, a los que no dije sus nombres al principio. Ana Vicky García nos saca. Yes, Vicky is there. Ana Vicky Garcia? No la veo acá. Vicky? No, no está acá. No está aquí. Bessie Flores? No, no Bessie Ábalos. Esther Martínez, sí. Esther Ariola? Ah, Francisca. Ah. Ernesto Garcia? Sí. Yes. Stephanie, thank you. Stephanie C. No. Gerson Rodríguez? Here. Yeah. Jorge Espinosa? No. Vamos a hacer abajo. Karen Carballo? No. Karen Mengiva? No. And Carla Rosa. So much of the Good. Okay. Well, now yes. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you for reminding me.
No, All right. Uh, we're going to finish right here, like I said before. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. See you next week. Remember, we're going to continue next class. Pesiamos, perdón. No escuché. No, que si me escuchó mi presente. Oh, sí, 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 le escuché, le escuché. No, ¿quién, ver, es? ¿Quién? No me mencionó. Yeah. Thank you. ¿Quién, perdón? José Rodríguez. Gracias. Right? Sí, ya, ya está, ya está. Solo lo, los nombres que mencioné son los que no estaban. Ah, ok, teacher. Y, y creo que Bessi ya me lo se confundió porque dije Bessi Flores. Pero sí, aquí está el lista. No se ok, well, sí. again, thank you. Have a good night. See you next week. Enjoy your weekend. And God bless you. Bye, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night, thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye, everybody. 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 Bye, everybody.